A yellow jumpsuit. I'll bet this is the official Nectar of the Goats uniform. No one would recognize me in one of these. This Nectar of the Goats jumpsuit might be just the thing I need to get the jump on William the Kid. Uh-oh, someone's coming. I'd better hide. So that's the dastardly William the Kid that everyone's so worked up about. Russian Blue, take this key wallet and put it back where it belongs. It contains the disarm key, the only thing that can stop my milky weapon of destruction. Right away, your Imperial Goatney. I've deposited the money in your bank account. Thanks for all your help. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Call me anytime. I need to get my hands on that key he mentioned. This looks exactly like that diagram over in the locker room. Now I need to move these levers to the positions shown in the diagram. This must be some sort of tram to take people around in Kid's Fortress. There's one sound the ear can hear better than any others. The sound of falling money. They should get a tickle from this nickel. Sorry, folks. I'm on a mission. Oh, this must be Kid's secret volcano office. I should take a look around. The key I need is protected by these dangerous lasers. Let's see. The red laser connects with the red socket, and the blue laser connects to the blue socket. I wonder if moving these mirrors will redirect the lasers. If I can't get that red laser redirected, I might as well file for unemployment. That did the trick. Now I can grab the key wallet. I did it! I got the key! Now all I have to do is find that control panel to the milky weapon of destruction.
This must be where William the Kid keeps his controls for the milky weapon of destruction. I should let Monkey Penny know I've made it here. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Spy Fox, good to hear from you. What's up? I'm in William the Kid's control room. The launching panel for the milky weapon of destruction is right here. Great. Spy Fox out. Now, which key should I use? I hope this is the right key. Once again, I've saved the world from a horrible, or in this case, smelly, fate. Now I need to go get that goat. Not so fast, my crafty friend. You may think you have outfoxed me by disarming my milky weapon of destruction. But I'm afraid it's too late to save your precious cows. It's over, Billy. Give yourself up. Don't ever call me Billy. It's William. And it's not over yet, my foxy nemesis. When I pull this lovely lever, the cow's stables will become completely flooded with milk. And that will be the end of the dairy world as we know it. That's the most despicable thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Man, this is really rich. Kid, you're kidding yourself if you think I'm going to let you get away with this. It's too late. And now, if you'll excuse me, Mr. Fox, I have a flight to catch on my giant metallic getaway blimp where I will implement my plan to take over the world, filling it with my delicious goat byproducts. Delicious? You must be insane. Insane, you say? You're the crazy one, if you think you can save the cows. Adios, Mr. Fox. And good luck finding this secret passageway to the stables. You'll need it. Stupid door. Thanks for leaving a little clue, kid. Now all I have to do is find that ascot. Kid's ascot. This must be the secret passageway to the stables where Kid is holding the cows. I'd better hurry. This should be easy. Uh oh. I can't swim past these alligators. They're looking at me like I'm bait. All right, let's see how the chicken knuckles seasoned with secret sauce affect the gators. <laughs> hey, the secret sauce is putting them to sleep. An alligator skin bridge. See you later, alligator. Uh, 
the kidnapped dairy cows. I've found them. Oh. Hang on, everyone. My name is Spy Fox, and I'll rescue you shortly. Oh. Continue treading milk, and I'll be right there. I hereby declare you free-range cows. But you're wrong. Go ahead. Free the cows this time. But I'll be back to milk the world yet again. <laughs> 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 Not so fast, kid. The last thing the world needs is another escaped goat. Think fast, Fox. This road ends just ahead. This'll eject me right onto Kid's blimp. Yeah, yeah. Now that was an entrance. I'd better check in with Monkey Penny. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Spy Fox, have you found William the Kid yet? I'm on his escape blimp now. Professor Quack says he can see you on the radar. Spy Fox. You can't let William the Kid get away. But what about the sequel? There are other supervillains out there. We'll be fine. That's true. What should I do when I nab him? We've already set up a mobile evil villain jail. Monkey Penny, do you have the coordinates for the evil villain jail? Yes. The coordinates are 8 degrees north, 24 degrees west. You need to fly the blimp over it. I'll transmit the coordinates to the spy watch in case you need to look at them again. Now I need to maneuver this ghastly blimp to that location. I'll get that dastardly villain. Looks like someone didn't finish their lunch. Well, you never know when you might need a piece of stale rye bread. An electric screwdriver set. This could come in handy. You never know when you might need to drive some screws somewhere. This reminds me of my high-flying days in the Spy Air Corps. That must be the entrance to the front of Kid's diabolical blimp. This must be the control room for Kid's diabolical getaway blimp. A navigation panel. Now I can use the coordinates Monkey Penny sent me via the spy watch to maneuver this dastardly contraption over the evil villain jail. Then I can finally put William the Kid where he belongs. Now I just need to find a way to get Kid out of this blimp and into Evil Villain Jail. Aha! The ejection seat controls must be here. I can finally throw Kid into Evil Villain Jail. That did the trick. Hmm, what an interesting device. It's just like the toaster we have back at Spy Corps Cafeteria. A 
piece of rye bread might do the trick. My trap is set. I'd better hurry. What's going on? The blimp is changing course. Sorry, kid. I have a little errand I need to run. Hmm? What? Spy fox? I'm really getting tired of your meddling in my very domination plans. Yes, well, I do have a tendency to show up and ruin evil villains' schemes. I just thought I'd toast your accomplishment before you go. Go? What do you mean by that? Too bad there was only one parachute. Ooh, that looked painful. I guess Kid will be serving up his go by products in Evil Villain Jail from now on. I would have gotten away with my terrible plan if it weren't for that pesky spy fox. Spy fox! You'll pay for this. I'll be back. No jail can hold William the Kid. <sighs> Later that day, Walter Wireless here with our top story. Spy Fox has saved the dairy starved nations of the world from a near disastrous milk shortage. Today at the Capitol, the president is honoring Spy Fox as the nation's new hero. We now go live to the presidential press room where the ceremony is already in progress. For outstanding heroism and suaveness in the face of utter dairy chaos and for bringing the nefarious William the Kid to justice, I award you, Spy Fox, our nation's highest honor. May I present you with the Big Daddy Congressional Cookie of Justice. Why, thank you, Mr. President. It was a routine mission, really. Three cheers for Spy Fox. I've got my cookie. Has anyone got milk? I would have gotten away with my evil plan if it weren't for that pesky spy fox. I 
I would have gotten away with my evil plan if it weren't for that pesky spy fox 